The remains of the late Olubadon of Ibadan land, Obale Kombalogun Ali Okumade II, were on Friday interred at his Aliwu ancestral home around 4.30 p.m. The late monarch, who reigned for two years, died at the age of 81 on Thursday at the University College Hospital Ibadan, Oyo State, after a brief illness. The state deputy governor, Bayo Laol, led other government functionaries to the family burial ground at Aliwu. There was a line in stage at Mapo Hall from 12 noon to 1 p.m. before the remains of the monarch were moved to Aliwo for burial after prayers. A chief imam of Ibadan land, Abu Ghanir, at Keke read the scrapnelists as a beacon of peace and renowned for his unwavering honesty. He will meet his creator in peace. Let me assure you, on behalf of His Excellency, the Governor for your state, who is this evening unavoidably absent, that whatever it will take to give a beating barrier, the state government will do it whenever the Governor comes back to the state. Uh, for now, is what we call Janeza in Islamic uh, um, right. We have given him that right, and we believe sincerely that uh, moving forward, whatever programs that will follow uh, would get involvement of uh, the state. The next report chronicles the life of His and Her Majesty Oba Mohud Olale Kombalogun Ali Okumade II, the late Olubadon of Ibadan land. Olubadon. This royal title is ascribed to the king of Ibadan land. Let's take a quick drive down memory lane of how the royal title of Olubadon came to be. In 1820, an army of Egba, Ijebu, Ife and all your people won the town during their wars with the Fulanese, but after a struggle between the victors, the Oyo people gained control in 1829. By 1850, they had established their unusual secession principle, which is quite different compared with other traditional Yoruba rulers, in that it alternates between two lines, a system where the Bale line, which is civic, and Balogun Isoriki line, which is the military, shared power, subject to a traditional council representing both lines. It takes decades to groom an Olubadon for the stool, through stages of chieftaincy promotion. Because of the unusual secession principle, where the title is not hereditary in most cases, the Olubadon are usually very old men who spend an average of five years in power. But there are rare cases of Olubadon who ruled for almost two decades. A typical example of this is Olubadon Kuala Abbas, who ruled from 1930 to 1946 a period of 16 years. From 1971 till date, the city of Ibadan has had a total of 10 kings. Among them is Oba Daniel Akimbi, who was the first Olubadon to wear a crown from the first day of installation. One of the Olubadon to have served for the shortest period was Oba Yola Paul Ayodele, who ruled for just two months from July to September 2007. Obale Kombalogun is the latest of the kings to have ruled the Ibadan city. He was crowned the 42nd Olubadon of Ibadan land on March 11, 2022, after he succeeded his predecessor, the late Obasali Wadetunji, who reigned for six years. Obabalogun, before he became a king, had represented the Oyo Senatorial District in the National Assembly between 1999 and 2003 where he served as the chairman of the Senate Committee on National Planning. He died on the 14th of March 2024, exactly two years and three days after he was crowned a king. The Balogun of Ibadoland, Obawulabi Olakulehi, is expected to be crowned as the next Olubadon of Ibadoland, is considered the next in line, according to traditional rites. For News Central, Adesia Wao Dushoga.